Pythagoras of Samos is a somewhat mysterious character in philosophical history, having lived some indeterminate amount of time before Christ and possibly being the only person to ever make mathematics into a murderous religious cult. If mathematics seems like an awfully nerdy thing to base a religion around, it bears mentioning that in these early times, science and philosophy were essentially two different names for exactly the same thing. As time went on, philosophy and science became like Siamese twins who got separated and now don't like each other very much, meeting up occasionally for important family events such as Christmas and bar mitzvahs and trying very hard to be civil to one another. Pythagoras loved mathematics, in fact he loved it so much that he literally worshipped it. Pythagoras thought that numbers were God, which places him among a short list of scientists who were also cult leaders, along with L. Ron Hubbard, Rayle, and Richard Dawkins. Pythagoras is best known today for his formulation of the Pythagorean Theorem, which we all learned in primary school, which is simply that the square of the height and the width of a right-angled triangle is always equal to the square of the hypotenuse, or A squared plus B squared equals C squared. If this seems like a pretty simple observation, it is, but it was revolutionary for the time because we're discussing a period in early history where human beings knew pretty much fuck all about anything. Pythagoras was so proud of his blindly obvious discoveries that he established a church around himself and gathered legions of followers who worked tirelessly day and night generating revolutionary mathematic theories, all of which Pythagoras took personal credit for. The Pythagoreans, as they were known, were also philosophers, sharing rigid concepts of morality such as pacifism, denouncing violence in all its forms. Failure to do this was punishable by death. The Pythagoreans also practiced a strict code of silence, the purpose of which was officially due to the fact that human beings are fallible and language is an insufficient medium through which to convey ultimate truth, but we can suppose the actual reason was to prevent people from spreading around discoveries that Pythagoras intended to attribute to himself. Failure to keep silent at all times was also punishable by death. Despite the rampant batshit lunacy within the Pythagorean cult, the church formed the foundation of a mathematical and philosophical golden age in the Western world. The Pythagoreans were the first to propose many of the most basic concepts of modern mathematics, such as square numbers and the base 10 number system. Pythagoras was even one of the first to come up with the idea that the Earth is round, even though many Americans today attribute that idea originally to Christopher Columbus, because the idea of knowledge existing before America is downright laughable. One of Pythagoras' followers, a guy named Hippasus, is also credited with the discovery of irrational numbers, or numbers that cannot be expressed as a fraction, such as pi. Although the existence of irrational numbers are now taken for granted among even the most amateur mathematicians, at the time, Pythagoras thought the idea was completely fucking retarded, and he had Hippasus killed. Nothing that Pythagoras actually wrote down has existed to this day due to the secretive nature of his sect, but enough second-hand accounts exist for us to know that he was a complete fucking asshole. and as far back as 26 centuries ago, people who loved maths were still all creepy losers. Music